to be um, to be witnesses to their protests. So we show up when something's going to happen, and we make sure we can document it and then get it up online. And the, the problem we come across is just how aggressive the Chinese government is. Anytime anyone in public says anything about Tibet, like as soon as a flag comes out, a sign, there are there are uh, police in plain clothes that just swoop down. So some of these uh, Five Americans were arrested Tuesday after they unfurled a banner spelling out free Tibet in English and Chinese in bright blue LED lights in Beijing's Olympic Park. Since August 8, students for Free Tibet have staged seven protests in China. So far, China has detained and deported 37 members of the group. And we're so lucky that we have all these Western supporters to fight for us because this is a non violent war and we will continue and we will go on and we will be strong because we won't give up. Chinese authorities dismantle a pro Tibet banner. Shortly after arresting the protesters, several of the activists were taken away, including a British journalist who was detained but later released. One protester made sure she expressed her views. Five chaining themselves to bicycles and to railings. I think today this shows just how sensitive uh, the Chinese government have, have been to these sort of demonstrations. It was broken up very, very quickly. And also, on the other hand, how determined the pro-Tibet and other activists are to keep up the pressure during the during the Olympic Games. Climbed up there, draped in Tibetan national flags, and hung a banner that said "Free Tibet" in English. This demonstration. Beneath the towering edifice of the new China TV headquarters, a simple two-word message that was an instant magnet to police and plainclothes security officers doing their best to disrupt the media. With a distinctive Tibetan flag blazoned across their backs, the climbers delivered their message. The police below helped us to intervene. Stop the torture in Tibet! Stop the human rights violations in Tibet! Well, China celebrates the Olympic, Olympic Games before a running in jail! These demonstrations illegal in China are occurring almost on a daily basis to the growing front. On the occupation of Tibet and ongoing human rights abuses by the Chinese government in Tibet. With the world's attention on China, we ask that you please, please, in free Tibet, that the time is now for free Tibet. And with the world's attention on China, that we speak out and as people of conscience, we travel here to do so today. We're here from several different countries to speak out for the people of Tibet. As we speak, over 1,000 Tibetan lives have been preemptively detained by the government of China inside Tibet. This peaceful protest is to highlight the ongoing, as well as the hundreds of Tibetans who were killed this past March. There's been a pro-Tibet protest near the main Olympic Stadium in Beijing. Chinese police shut it down within minutes and took at least seven people into custody. Beijing police also dragged a British journalist along the ground and detained him after he tried to report on the protest. Our correspondent John Taylor is in Beijing.